I go to YouTube. I'm X and I'm back to open a quarter century Bonanza booster box today. Recently I didn't have too much time to open any any booster packs pretty much. But um, when I came home from uh, work just a few minutes ago I saw that my pre-order of the set was already delivered. So um, yes. It's a little later uh, today but I wanted to open at least one of the boxes I bought right away um, to hopefully get some really nice nostalgia prints and um, to check out how the rarities look compared to RA01. I don't know if the the special um, nostalgia pool card is in the front. I guess we're gonna find out. No, it's not. But that's an alt art polymerization with uh, avian and bestanded tricks. That's interesting. Allure of darkness. That's regular secret rare. Oh, that's a summon skull. Nice. QCR summon skull. No, no, it's not QCR. That's okay. That's platinum secret. Interesting. That's a lot of glittering and there's two collectors rares. I think. Yeah, it's Return of the Dragon Lords and Iria. But let's sleeve the Sun Skull right away. One of my favorite old vanilla cards. He and uh, Red Eyes pretty much uh, duke it out for spot number one. Two collector's rares, a secret and a super. So it's in the middle pretty much. Next pack. Super Poly is one of the decent cards in terms of playability. We have Neptibus the Atlantean Prince. I don't know this card. I mean, Allure I knew at least. Oh, Cyber Dragon Alt Art. Nice. Another Platinum. Clockwork Knight. I'm gonna need to sleeve up the Cyber Dragon uh, really soon. And Rivalry of Warlords. So that's two Ultras in this pack compared to the two collectors in the pack before. When are we going to see the first quarter century secret rare? But I mean the platinum secrets really differ from what we saw in RA01. Swap Frog, that was valuable for a while. Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Liebe. That's quite a behemoth of a name to say. And oh, Icarus attack. That's nice for, for Edison, I think, for Black Wings. And that's another Platinum secret. Trap Trick and Thunder Dragon Dark as Ultra Rares. No ultis so far. But if they look uh, anything like the ones in the first product of this uh, of this genre, I don't mind seeing no ultras, uh, no ultis. If they look better, um, I might change my mind a little. Win, and there's oh Necros of Trishula. I don't know too much about Necros cards, um, and this one is not a QCR. Um, Ritual Beast Tamer. Elder, interesting. I mean, that looks a little more interesting than the usual um, rarity collection ultis <laughs> and laundry dragon mate. Yay, that's kind of random. Uh, so, okay, I guess. Let's put the, the ultis uh, where to put it. Like over here, maybe. Oh. Let's do it like this. I'm running out of space because of the many different different rarities. But that's kind of the point of the whole set, I think. You get so much stuff you are confused. <laughs> but the summon skull right away was kind of nice. Mermel Abysteus. Oh, what's that? That's Tempest, I think. And that's uh, Platinum. And oh, Cyberjar, cool. <laughs> I like that. Reminds me a little bit of the, the Hobby League print. 
Monster Reborn and Blaster, Dragon Ruler of Infernos. Interesting. Of course, it's not just about the nostalgia cards in here. I'd like to see some uh, triple tactics thrusts and some of the other meta relevant cards in here. Oh, Thunder Dragon Colossus, Secret Rare, why not? And another Necros of Trishula. Eh, that's a little unfortunate. Of course, you want to see variety. Oh, and I got Diabellstar. I think she's kind of nice. At least. Uh, my friend who ordered a booster box as well, uh, together with me, uh, he said he needed it if I was to pull it. Okay, double Trishula. Next one, Nemesis Corridor. Oh, Malicious. Hello. Another Platinum Secret. <laughs> oh, and Ill Blood, nice. Scary looking artwork. But that's not a QCR either. Oh, but there's a collector's rare totally awesome. That might be kind of decent. And whatever that is. Il Blut and Mali. So, kind of Edison focused this pack. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That is a QCR. I was barely able to tell. I think it was easier um, with the earlier iterations of Rarity Collection to see that. Maybe? Maybe the Blood is one as well? No, I don't think so. But okay, first QCR Malicious. Not bad at all. I'm not even sure if I'm going to to manage to open all oh heavy storm nice all of the packs in in one one 15 minute video that uh, that grass secret cool and a thrust nice that was a good pack ttt yay heavy storm yay maybe i'll do half one and half two I mean, it uh, won't really matter to the few people watching my stuff at the moment. Dark Beckoning Beast, and oh, there's a fusion. Oh, that's Flame Wingman? Nice, look at that. Oh, wait, let's put the secret rare up here. Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, as a Platinum Secret, and an Ultimate Rare Abysteros, and a Collector's Rare Nemesis Flag. Okay. I mean, yeah. This looks kind of okay. I mean, most of these rarities are a little too much sparkle for my personal taste. But I can see people liking this. Nice. QCR thrusts now. I mean, I have one ultra variety of it already. Laundry Dragon Mate. Oh, double Cyber Dragon. And this one. Oh, that's a QCR for me. Nice. Plus Sign at Mining and Area the Water Charmer. Yeah. Like this you can see the stamp, but it's not, it's not too easy. Interesting. Interesting stuff. I mean, of course, there are cards that are missing in here, in my opinion. Um, if you're interested in uh, my thoughts on that, you can let me know, and I might do a more discussion-based video about it. Dual Tower, uh, not cool. And it's a QCR. Nah, I'd rather have other QCRs. A Thunder Dragon Dark, and that grass again. I think I have one Secret Rare version of it. But Dual Tower, eh. 
not really the QCR you are looking for, but the first two I got, Mali and Cyber Dragon, are of course pretty nice ones. Let's see. Dragoons. Arch Nemesis Protoss, that's a good card, I think. And oh, Demog, look at that, nice. That's Platinum Secret, I think. And two Ultra Rares. Okay. Seeing that I have only four minutes left, um, around four minutes, I don't think I'm going to start with the second half right now. Um, let's take a few of these Nostalgia prints and enjoy them. Um, Demok is nice, Flame Wingman is cool, Heavy Storm is of course a great card, Ill Blood is not too special for me, but might have some fans in the Edison era uh, enjoyers. Trishula, two of those are, yeah, kind of whatever for me, but I know people uh, that like Necros, Henry for example, hello. Um, Cyberjar is nice because it's trolly and I love it. Another uh, Trishula Icarus attack might be cool. Cyber Dragon is a good card, as already mentioned, and Summon Skull is of course one that I enjoy a lot. I hope you enjoyed this first half uh, and stay tuned for the second half. I think I can uh, upload them at um, two separate days uh, following one another. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that and for more uh, Bonanza openings in the near future. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time on Random Old School Yu Gi Oh! Bye-bye.